one has dementia and the next steps that are taken to help them transition from uh, the shock of it all to the next steps of, of getting uh, in-house care and so much more. Gerard lied about giving money, Gerard lied about working with organizations, and Gerard lied about how the charity was helping victims of dementia, and he was using those lies to solicit donations. This is the textbook definition of charity fraud. Britannica states that charity fraud is a type of fraud that occurs when charitable organizations that solicit funds from the public for philanthropic goals, such as seeking cures for diseases, solicit donations in a deceptive manner, or use the monies that they collect for purposes not intended by the donors. I have definitively shown that Gerard was deceptive and thus have already proven he committed checks that are sent from a certified public accountant for electronic signature. Not only is this legal, but it is the industry standard for filing taxes here in the United States. It pains me to say this, but I was incorrect. The forms were signed. This was a throwaway line that was poorly researched, and I shouldn't have said it. It meant nothing, it affected nothing, and I based none of my claims on this fact. Still, I owe everyone, and especially Gerard, an apology. So Gerard, from the bottom of my heart, I'm sorry that when discussing your multiple examples of committing charity fraud, I said the open hand tax and the third month on my left. On top of wearing her blindfold very loosely, Queen Ponzalot also sits back in her chair and looks up in an unnatural way. This is to get a better viewing angle. Before her attempt with the new blindfold, she had spent around one hour playing with her old blindfold over multiple days and weeks. And for that entire time, she always sat like this. She was leaning forward and looking directly in front of her. This is because while her blindfold was partially obscuring her sight, she could see straight to sit. And world-class blindfold speedrunner Bubsia confirms that when you see someone sitting in this position, it's a giant red flag. And uh, if I curve up even more, but that's already looking very sus, I guess, if you, if you sit there like your neck breaking. Uh, if I sit like this, for example, I can see half of my monitor um, 